and welcome back to the channel okay we are back on uh offer up fort lauderdale area 80 mile search radius looking for cars and trucks trucks and cars for uh between 300 and 1500 dollars all right so let's jump right into this now let's see what what is what we're facing today okay here's a 2006 volkswagen passa for 1300 okay uh let's look at a big picture okay one of the things that i love about these uh volkswagens is right here i love the amount of chrome that they use on these cars it's, it, it gives it a nice touch um but outside of that i have everything against volkswagens um they are mechanical disasters they do put up a good um propaganda um effort you know touting themselves as these you know big paragons of german engineering maybe in the 1920s 30s uh 40s or whenever germans you know german engineering was like yeah but they're not really holding their own anymore i mean vw's garbage audi's garbage mercedes garbage bmw garbage porsche garbage everything that comes out of germany in terms of cars is garbage so um 2006 Volkswagen Passat at 1300 my t my take is that this vehicle doesn't run or if it does run it runs with problems so $1,300 yeah I would even go there I wouldn't pay anything for this I'd only drive a Volkswagen really if they gave it to me and even then I'd try to get rid of it all right let's see what else is out here what did I miss okay okay sedan v6 Toyota Camry for 800 <laughs> and okay here we have it what's what's going on here guys one picture and this, guys, is a telltale sign of a scam. Now, this email business, people do not fall for this, okay? There's absolutely no reason why anybody would want to take a sale off of the platform. For what? You know, and people who, who agree to go off of the, the, uh, the, 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 um, the platform, they're asking for trouble. You know, guys, just don't do this. If, you're, if you are genuine about selling the vehicle, don't, don't do stuff like this. You know, it, it, it sends a bad picture. All right. Okay. 2003 Chevrolet Trailblazer for $1,200. Hmm. Let's look at a big picture. Wow. This is grungy. What, what the heck? Anyway, um, not very good pictures, people. I can't stress it enough. You sell a vehicle? Come on. Put some pictures up there. It's how difficult can it be? It's not like you, you, you have, a you know, some, some old conic car canon you know um what you call it their uh you know um you know camera that uses some film that you have to get uh developed and all that it's on your phone take some decent pictures description need paint job tune up huh baker's passionate on driver side motor phone okay i can't be bothered to you know get into that too much twelve hundred dollars not bloody likely. Moving along. Okay, scrolling, 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 scrolling. Okay, all right, here we go. 2007 Mar Mercedes Benz R Class for $850. Believable because the R Class was garbage. And here we have, let's look at a big picture, only one picture. And let's see what's going on here. I don't like this already. Description for parts or fix. Was running when parts, so hood right, fender right, headlight grill, and front bumper. Selling only complete in the gun. $850. I don't know what you'd be paying for $850, but hey, if you have to have an R class, I guess. Hmm. Whether you get that one or another one, they're all garbage. All right, let's. Uh, oh, interesting. 2002 Dodge Ram van for thirteen hundred dollars let's look at big let's let's look at it and let's look at the big picture now these vans here they're well, i don't know they never really they never really stood as much competition for the fords or the the uh the gm twins um ugly vehicles i would say you know i suppose if you get unless you get wrong with the diesel you know the, the cummins diesel i don't think it was even worth it vendo van de trabajo total trabaja AC being free. Okay, yeah, they're selling a work van and everything works. AC good and cold. Yeah, I didn't much care for them, but you know, some people do, I guess. You know, all 10 people. <laughs> all right, 2003 Ford Mustang for $1,200. Hmm. Believable. All right, let's look at the big picture. Okay, right off the bat, I'm seeing a fairly nice set of wheels. 
Um, I generally don't like aftermarket wheels, um, but you know these look fairly nice and they fit the uh, wheel wells quite nicely. And um, okay, seeing something there. Okay, and <coughs> yeah, we've got some damage there. We've got some damage there, but not particularly a deal breaker not yet. Let's see what's going on in the description. Trying to get rid of my old car. I got in the car. It has a couple problems. Oil leak in the transmission. It doesn't turn on because it needs no battery. Straight pipe, so it's really loud. Total deal breaker. Okay. Transmission issues plus it's loud. Nah. I don't do loud cars. I don't do that sort of thing. It's, it's literally, literally beneath me. You know, some, that's some kid stuff. I, I don't have time for it. All right. 2,500 Elantra. $1,000. Total video. What is this nonsense? We every phone nowadays has a decent camera, every single one. And this is what you put. Let's look at a big picture. We can't even see a big picture. This is not even a big picture. Come on, people, a thousand dollars. Let's see what the description says. Clean title, not owned. Not owned by smoke. There's no smoke smell. Wow, that's a redeeming quality. Great at the interior, several small tears in leather. Son of the battery, new outfit. They just installed. Seats in the back fold all the way down. See them back. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Windows only roll down manually now. They no longer roll down rec remotely from the drive. What do you mean manually? What What that mean? Uh, only really, it's a paint is wearing off certain place. No AC. No AC. You shouldn't have led with that one. I wouldn't have wasted my time. Thousand dollars. You're lucky you get a hundred. All right. Scrolling. 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 Okay. Two thousand two hundred accord for thirteen hundred. Now I've spoken ad nauseum about these cars that you know they're unreliable in their automatic configurations but let's look at the big picture now why do i keep zoning in on them if i don't like them so much it's not that i don't like them i actually think they're gorgeous vehicles i mean i loved i love the way they look i've always loved the way they look okay i mean look at this look at this look at this rear end you know you you, you have to love you know this design right here the tail lights is you know reminiscent of the original acura honda nsx um, it's just a really nice, clean, timeless design. I, I do like the design. It's just that one small niggling thing. And I keep looking because, you know, I'm hoping maybe, you know, a manual, which is the one to have. I mean, just, you know, just get rid of the whole idea of this automatic. All right. And then you'd be golden. All right. Description. It has 270,000 miles, but it runs fine. V6 and cool AC. Seats are right, but can be covered with seat covers. Right window does not work. One thirteen hundred dollars best offer. I would go with the best offer, guys. Offer him $500 and um somewhere there about start 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 negotiating on 500 dollars hmm okay scrolling 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 what awaits us let's see oh 2006 saturn ion for 1500 okay all right let's look at the big picture okay okay this says uh this says uh 2.4 here on the uh, Rear deck. Hmm. What a redeeming quality. Okay. Um, these cars, not particularly bad either way. Um, they were just, you know, complete displays of General Motors mediocrity. Okay. They never did anything particularly well. Didn't do anything particularly bad. You know, they were related to the, uh, the, uh, the Chevy, what the heck? I don't remember what. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing, guys. Yeah. Um, they were related to the Chevy Cobalt, uh, Pontiac uh, had a variant as well, and uh, they were just, you know, they sold well, I guess, because, you know, um, the car rental companies bought them. But yeah, um, Saturn Ions, 2050, uh, try for a thousand, work your way up from there, you know, don't really hate them, but at the same time, you know. All right, 2000 Chrysler Sebring, hmm, let's see what's going on here. All right, let's look at the big picture. All right, this person is being super safe with their uh, mask right there. I like that, people, you know. All right, so we're looking at some pictures here. You know, this person is giving us some decent pictures. Um, it's a convertible, which wasn't mentioned before. We've got some paint issues there. Okay, all right. Uh, huh. Okay, what we're seeing here, guys, is uh, some issues there on the rear uh glass for the roof yeah, coming undone all right let's see what the description says la 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 2000 
Price of seven convertible, very loud with only 101,246 miles on it. And the second one, a very clean car that's been using for, for a storage the past few days. Or past few weeks, what the heck? Due to not cranking... Oh, due to not cranking it, needs a new PCM for the fuse box and needs new motor mounts. Per se. I can't be bothered. For $1,000, and you're lucky if you get a 100 all right, let's keep scrolling down and let's keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Okay, all right, let's look at this. Uh, here's a truck for nine hundred dollars. Uh, truck. Well, this is a. Uh, let's look at big picture. Ford Ranger. You guys know I love these, you know, but um, not really sure much is going on here with this one. Um, let's see the description. No description. Nine hundred bucks. It probably doesn't run. You know, it probably doesn't run for whatever reason. Nine hundred dollars. I don't know. I'd have to learn more, and I don't really feel like calling. I wouldn't feel like calling. All right, 2007 Nissan Sentra. Let's see what's going on here. All right, believable for $1,200. All right, black. I always like black cars. They've sprayed the the uh, hubcaps black, which I hate. Um, looks okay so far. Um, you know, it's an SR, which means nothing anymore with Nissans. Once upon a time, SR was the one to have. Now these are just, I suppose, a stage or two above the base model. Hmm, let's see what the description says. 2007 Nissan Sentra SR, clean tire, $200 cash, transmission noise. It's a Nissan, and it's a CVT, so guess what? You're going to have more than just transmission noise. You're going to have transmission failure. All right, so hmm. bear that in mind. All right, let's see if we can get one more in, one more in. Uh, 2009 Scion TC for $1,200. Hmm, let's look at big picture. These cars, you know, basically what um, what the world market would call a Toyota uh, Corona or Carina, uh, depending on the market. Um, never directly sold in the United States, but um, this is what was. Bam. Okay, got an accident right there. Okay. Yeah, this yeah this must have slid in, you know slid into a pole of some kind, but anyway um doesn't look to be much of a structural issue not a deal breaker. Is this an automatic? I believe it is. Yep, automatic. Yeah, so you know these cars are super reliable. Um, the two point four liter engine that came in them you know Toyota two point four same engine as in the Camry. And a number of other models, CN, etc. Uh, really reliable, but they, you know, apparently they had some uh, oil ring issues. They started burning oil. There was a recall for that engine some time ago. Uh, you can look into that. But you know, twelve hundred dollars, two thousand nine seven T C. You not tried to pay twelve hundred for this one, but overall, not too bad. All right. So guys, listen. I'm gonna leave it here for today. Thanks for joining me again. If you like what's going on, like, share, subscribe, and guys, I tell you what, it's really really fun doing these videos all right so i'll see you guys again soon